Ask him, ask him why you cannot go in. I want someone to tell me why do I need to wait outside to come in? You're gonna have to wait outside. But why? Where's the manager? Where is the manager? This is how we be treated in Gucci. Uh, no, no, no. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Wild Karen. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, it really helps out this channel, and let's jump right into it. How do you realize that I was standing over here, I wasn't acknowledging the minute he walked in, you acknowledged him? I apologize, I saw that I'm you were sorry. standing there, that's why I wanted to acknowledge you. I see. Yeah, I, I, because the two gentlemen over there did the same thing, except I was standing in front of them for like a couple minutes, they didn't acknowledge me. Okay, yeah, I apologize. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. <laughs> First up, we have a tenant filming his landlord responding to his complaint about having to wait a week for the landlord to replace his broken refrigerator. You can't buy a sandwich? Well, you can't buy microwave food? Come on, why are you playing games, man? You don't have to eat out every day if you don't have an oven. That's not true. As a tenant, what? here's the thing. As a tenant, what? you have to mitigate your losses. By law, Why? you have to mitigate your losses. That means you have to decrease your losses as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So, you can buy sandwiches. Okay. You can buy microwave food. Uh, you can buy cold food. Okay. You don't have to cook on the stove for this okay. week. Okay. All right. You don't have to eat out every day either. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that. Okay. Okay. A worker starts going off on a customer for asking for a refund for a charge that he wasn't aware of. The worker tells the customer if he doesn't want to pay, he can simply leave, which the customer did. Uh, right. So you just told me that I can go. I'm Without not, paying for the I'm petrol, not telling you, to, uh, you work for BP. I am not telling you. I don't work for BP. It's none of my business. At me. If you want to do it, you pay for it. If you stop don't want to pay for it, get out from the shop. Stop That's shouting at me. Right, you won't you get paid you then. Stop shouting at me. Bro. I'm not shouting at you, brother. Right, I'm going to leave now then. Without paying for the petrol. Because you won't give me my £1.50 back. Okay, you're all happy with that, yeah? No, because there's a charge for £1.50 which you didn't tell me about. And I'm not going to have him shout at me. It says on the machine, it's charged 150. Yeah. It says on there. How can I pay you? You don't need to shout not just say. You want to stop shouting? Right? Yeah, do you want to stop shouting? But stop shouting at me first. None of You don't shout none of my stuff. That's it. If you want to pay, you pay. If you don't want to pay, you get out from here. See you later. Full stop. See you later. Unbelievable. Next up, we have a worker who almost lost her cool. The worker is obviously having a great day and decided to deny this guy's flight because he missed the cutoff time by two minutes. Not getting on this plane. So let's just talk about the other well, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, it was two minutes. I don't understand why two minutes. I'm telling you right now, you have a bag. These are the rules. It's 40 minutes. You should always check what the cutoff time is for every airport. There's traffic in LA. It's a busy airport. What more do you want me to say? So now, the next option I said was Newark um, 166 to upgrade to first class if you want to guarantee it. I'll look at the JFK flights and see the next flight to JFK only has one seat available. Um, you could confirm that seat for $50. I could look at the one after that, which leaves about one thirty. So there's a JFK at like 10 something, one thirty. Yeah, look at that. Look at JFK, JFK. I guess. This guy's smoothie never arrived, and instead of calling Uber Eats, he decided to go to the location demanding a smoothie. You're saying what now, miss? I'm saying that it's not our responsibility. Now I'm saying that it's yours, but we can't give you Right, stuff. so you're telling me that I paid for my stuff, yeah. and you're not going to give it to me because of a miscommunication on your part. No. Miss Rain. I'm telling you that you paid for your stuff. Correct. Ordered it for delivery. The delivery person came, got your stuff, was supposed to deliver it to you. So therefore, it's not our problem. It's not your problem. Thank you. You guys are probably the worst service I've ever seen in my life. Good for you. Honestly, you guys got over 300 reviews and one star. Good for you. you know, good. Yeah, good for me. Good for you guys. You guys are the ones with the bad review. All right, so what do you want me to do? Why do you keep going? Fix, fix my account, right. dude. If you want me to fix, you need to come. Don't down. scream at me because I'm not because screaming you at you. The same thing. No, 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 no. So I'm not screaming at you. I'm perfectly well and you're I'm not. upset because of the you're things not. that you've done with my fucking business. Mind your okay? business again. Oh, oh wait. Okay. You can say bad words, but I can, right? Because you just said it to me. I didn't say that. You I said I didn't say it towards you. Learn English, dude. This guy has a problem with the way the receptionist asked for his ID and for giving him an attitude when he complained about how he couldn't find the location online. 
and you're not gonna you can I, you can do whatever you want to do okay great now what did you say to me about getting my lab results I told you to get your insurance and your ID and you gave me about three seconds you are not gonna I'm gonna uh, take I'm this because we're gonna have a discussion here that's fine. You all, I also said there's no way to find uh, where you are I'm on the internet. And he said, I'm just a phlebotomist. <laughs> see, let's see how you react. What? So this is how you're providing customer service? I'm not being rude to you no. at all. I'm a cost security. Go for it. I'll wait for them. And we'll see what they have to say. Uh, I've taken an hour out of my day to find out where you guys are. Like I told you at first, I told a supervisor, I'm not the one who works on the website. There's nothing I can do about it. There's a lot of things you could do. You could put a sign at the other office I that's a hundred yards away. I'm floating here. You, I don't work here all the time. There's you just don't care? Do. You couldn't put a sign over there? You can call a supervisor, but I'm not about to argue with any customer. Really? Am I arguing with you right now? You didn't say, please, Mr. Lieberman, can I have your ID? You said, get me your ID, is what you said. I said, can I get your ID? No, you ID? did not. I'm you not didn't even ask me. Well, I'm not going back and forth. Those are not the words you use, ma'am. A customer called a pet store right before closing asking if they could wait for him as he's running late and in need of dog food. The worker waited but decided to refuse him service after finding out he lied to him about buying food. Back up and go. I don't know. I said I was going to be here at 9 o'clock. You said I could come in and grab what I was going to do. I got here at 9 o'clock and you locked the door and pretended like I wasn't here. I don't get that. We close at 9. I can't stay open any later than 9. I called ahead and you said yes. I understand. That's why, that's why I came here. I understand. But you made it, I thought you just needed food or something, that you were just going to be in and out. I, I am. Actually, the light I wanted to buy was right there. It's faster than the food. So where did we go wrong? I'm sorry, man. I, I was under the assumption that you needed food. You said you to come to here at 9 o'clock. I got here right when I told you I'd be. And then I pounded on the door and you pretended like I wasn't here. So can I come in and buy my lights? I'm sorry, I can't So you're telling you. me no. I, I'm your good customer. I got here when I was supposed to and you're telling me no. Correct. Awesome. That's great customer service, but I appreciate that. Yep. This next clip is an example why you don't mess with the person who's making your food. This guy showed up to a McDonald's right before closing and the worker decided to serve him raw meat. I told you, bro, I work at a restaurant. That shit is raw. It's go, go complain to that, bro. Oh, Man. a little bit oh raw. God. A little bit raw, I guess. That's horrible. Oh, oh my God. So, so what all is this? Blood. It's raw meat. Hey, you know, I'm not being rude. I was just in here. That's raw meat. Um, I mean, that's raw. <laughs> I mean, they had to do that on purpose. That's raw meat. That's blood in the bun. <laughs> I mean, this is raw, raw. Uh, I just, I just now come through here. And shit, I just pulled out. Yeah, no, yeah, here it is, right here. I mean, I just left. I mean, that's raw. I mean, I ain't trying to be rude. I used to marry fries. Yes, I make double and I make no I mean, I mean, look at, I mean you got to have good points between 40 and 140. That's like, I mean, somebody put that out. That's crazy. I mean, I ain't trying to be mean. I know you just, y'all in the middle of the COVID crisis. I mean, that's, oh, I know Jess Carter, he flipped. Yeah. Okay. Good, I'm feeling it too. In fact, I'll tell you what, y'all just keep the money. Working here. You can't you can't give this guy would not give me a refund. Okay. First of all, I didn't ask him for a refund. I asked him to change my soda to the same thing that this was did not taste right. He said no one else complained about the soda to him all day. I told him that's them, that's not me. I just asked to him for to change my soda many, to many the same thing. He says many he's a manager. Point. So he's not going to give him give me a refund, nor is he gonna give me a refund. 
But the thing is, I didn't ask for a refund. I asked you him to change refund. my soda. So I'm going to leave my soda here and I'm going to report this to corporate. Next up, we have a guy who gets kicked out of Planet Fitness and refuses to leave. Angel, what is that we manager's need name? To leave. That's his personal information that I am not giving out. That's not my information to give. Okay, but he's kicking me out. I'm kicking you out too. My name is Andrew. You said my name. You okay. know my name. My name is on now, my name what's tag. that general's manager's name that's not, Augusto. that's kicking me out? The cops are on their way. That's fine. You need to leave. You're going to be arrested for trespassing. I am like, not going to get arrested for happen. trespassing. You're, you're banned from kind of fitness. Okay, I want, I want that manager's name that's kicking me out. Is there any call? Do you have the number? This customer ordered a to-go box while her family sat down to eat. The woman then started eating her to-go box and got really upset when the worker walked up to her to let her know that she couldn't refill her to-go box. Now the customer is demanding a refund for assuming she was going to refill her box. Come to me and embarrass me in front of all the people. The person told you, you to-go, not here. Understand? Are you crazy? I'm recording this. You go, you go, don't worry, you go, please. Hold on. Please you're, come in. The, you're a person? Excuse me. Excuse me. Your she came to my wife. So okay, I'm and she, for four she did not so, get the refund. Excuse me. You call the police. I don't tell you anything. Sorry. I don't tell you anything. Sorry. Are you the owner of this place? Are you the it's owner? A, it's my it's manager here. You uh, what? Are you it's the owner? Manager. Who's your owner? I tell you, I need you to call me. You, you people are listening. You guys have problems. I'm working here 15 years, not crazy. You are crazy. You crazy. You told her. You told her. You told her. You guys need to learn from management. I told what? You told the crazy. I told her. You told me the crazy. Me, everything. I working here 15 years. Tell police whatever you want. I don't care. And you told me crazy. Me 15 years. You guys are crazy. Next up, we have a manager who calls the cops on a customer who simply wanted to replace his vegetables for me. The one also. Are you gonna substitute? I told you. You're gonna substitute my vegetables? You're gonna, sir? I'm talking to you. To leave. Go. I don't serve you anymore. Go. You're allowed to leave, please. Okay. Because you act. You're not allowed to be the owner. No. You have no right. You are being real. No, because I haven't done anything. Yeah, I have a, I have a customer here that I'm not. I want him to leave. I haven't even, uh, I haven't even argued or anything. The gentleman, I haven't argued with him. I asked the gentleman a question. He's calling the police on me for no reason, simply talking to him. The gentleman called the police on me. That's him right there. That's the general manager acting very rude. He yelled at the other manager from another store and everything. And uh, just real quick, I want you all to see this gentleman. That is him right there, very clear. Look at him walk away, because he's rude. Very rude. This last clip features a customer at a Walmart who calls the cops on a manager for not doing her job. It's around 2 a.m. and there's about 20 to 30 people who are waiting to check out with only one checkout line open. The customer filming was looking for the manager so she can report her to corporate and happened to stumble across an angry customer who's already went off on the manager demanding that she tells the workers to stop walking around and to do their job. And that wraps up this episode of Wild Karen. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. It really helps out this channel. Thank you as always for watching. Until next time. I'm at the Walmart on Belvedere and Military Trail in West Palm Beach. This is how the line look just after 12 midnight. This is how the line look. There's only one register open and they have all these people standing in line like this. This is ridiculous, totally ridiculous. I am going to send this video to corporate to let them know what's going on in their stores. This doesn't make any sense. The line is way back here, way back here.
to aisle seven. I'm looking for the manager so I can get a picture of her. I, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not trying to. Be, if you walk in front of my camera, you just walking in front of it. I'm not. I'm not trying to put you in nothing. I'm not trying to put you in nothing. Chill out. I'm looking for the manager of Walmart. Chill out, man. I'm not trying to put you in nothing. This don't make no sense. It's about two o'clock in the morning. Like that's disrespectful, bro. Sure is. Okay, here come PBSO right here. Hi. Hi. Hi, um, came up here as you can see, lines back around behind the store. There's almost 30 employees walking around the store. Um, I was told that there's three cashiers that were on duty. They might be on break. I came up here, as you can see, there's one, they just opened up that second um, scan register right there. It was just that one open and everybody's just walking around. That's just respectful. It's late. People have Okay. And how you did not resolve it, and you're turning away their customers. Uh, excuse me, hello, Miss Manager. Can you come here, please? Okay, here's the here's the manager right here that we were. Just turning the light off. You can record. Oh, uh, oh, light is. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know the light was on. Disclose to me how many callouts you had. If you want to come outside with me, I'll get you a case number and then whatever Walmart. So I can't get a case number? I'll give it to her if she wants to share it with you. That's fine. But it's for her. But I asked for one. Yeah, she asked for one as well. It is a case number. It's the same case number. If she wants to share it, uh, I'm still offering $5 for if somebody pay for my $5 for somebody to pay for my grocery. Anybody want to make $5? $5, $5, you want to make $5? Cinco, Cinco De Niro? You want to make Cinco De Niro? <laughs> Anybody know? Come on, I just got five, five things up there. You want to pay for it? I'll give you $5, Cinco De Niro. Right there for the bread and the you gonna pay for it for me? Thank you, darling. Okay, I may have misspoke. It's probably like six items. Seven. 